Hello everybody, as promised, um, an update video um, on our COVID risk assessment um, and changes that will be coming into force on Monday or will be fully implemented. Some are already in place, but just making you aware because some people aren't really following the rules and with COVID getting worse and worse each day, we are here to try and protect the children, the staff and our families, as well as yours. Um, only children who are symptom free can come to the preschool. We are relying on you as parents to be honest um, in keeping children poorly at home. If your child starts showing any symptoms, be it a cough, a persistent cough in the room, uh, having a temperature, um, having loss of taste and smell, these children will be sent home and they will need to get tested or self-isolate for 10 days. Uh, if, they, um, if you do get a test and it comes back negative, then um, they may return to preschool if they are well enough. If they have had a fever, um, and that is the reason why they've been off. Um, they cannot return until 24 hours after this has um, their temperature has gone down. Um, obviously, they could be still carrying a virus of some sort, could be a cold or flu. So they should avoid mixing with people if possible. Um, obviously, we do have a blanket ban on cowpole, so the children should not be having cowpole and then coming to the preschool. Um, Obviously, we will share as much information as we can with you about what's happening in the preschool. Uh, we have a system of control as to all settings um, and all schools um, in the UK. Um, and this will be shared on our website. Um, it has been in our newsletter and we will put it on Facebook of the step by steps that we are following to make sure that everybody is safe within the preschool. This was changed um, with the government guidelines on Tuesday after Boris's announcement using uh, face coverings. Uh, with this in mind, we are asking for all parents when collecting and dropping off to wear a face mask when dropping their children off and collecting them from the gates. Um, we do have a one-way system and it must be followed. Please don't walk through the car park. Please do not walk back on parents that are queuing up. This is a bit disrespectful. Um, we have had the arrows in place and we are just trying to protect everybody. So please follow the one-way system down the end of our path and around the car park do not walk through the car park with your children. P teachers and people could be driving their cars and not see your child and your child could get hit. This is vital that you are following these rules. Um, we are asking for face masks to wear. Some schools are doing the same. Um, Robin Cheney have already have it in place and a lot of secondary schools are making it mandatory as well. Please do it to protect everybody. Obviously, if you're exempt for medical reasons, this is fine, but please adhere to these rules. Um, a new thing that we have put in place is a Q QR code. Um, any visitors that attend the setting, be it professional only at the moment, will need to scan the QR code before entering. This will then be linked with the NHS COVID app. All staff are being asked to download this app and to scan in every day. This is to make sure that if there are any COVID cases, then staff are alerted. We have asked you to already fill in your test and trace, and I know that some of you don't want your information to be shared, but any visitors that come into the setting, be it um, a OT or a health visitor, their contact details will be taken so we can track back if we do have a COVID case in the preschool, which touch wood, we don't. Um, Parents that are helping their children to settle in uh, will be asked to wear a face mask and they must sit in a designated area in our playground, which has been allocated for both rooms. The only issue is now is that they can no longer stay longer than an hour. So once the hour is up, a member of staff will ask you to leave and you'll be going out the side gate um, as we have been doing currently. Um, we know it's a difficult time to help these children settle in, um, but um, Hopefully, over the next couple of weeks, they do settle in and they'll be able to attend as normal. But at the moment, parents that are staying with their children to help them settle in can stay no longer than an hour. Um, obviously, at the moment, we do have the boxes out the front where you put your bags and everything in. But as we sent out an email last week, we will be asking for a bag to be left here with your children's belongings in. Spare clothes, nappies, etc. Obviously, if you're providing your own consumables and not paying the additional service charge, then you will have to provide wipes and everything in your bag, as well as a waterproof seat. These bags will be left on your children's peg. Once nappies have run out or they're running low, we will contact you to bring some in. 
The only thing we're asking you to bring into the preschool is your book bag and you can put your nappies and spare clothes in there and the staff can then replenish your rucksacks. We are all also asking for water bottles to stay at the preschool. If you bring in a water bottle and it's named, it can now stay here. Staff members will clean them and fill them up daily with fresh water for the children to access whilst they're in the room. We do not allow squash within the room um, and with children. Um, it's for health reasons. Um, obviously squash can rot their teeth and we are trying to our best for our healthy eating award um, to go up to Silver this year. So no squash can be allowed. Obviously with their packed lunches, if you're providing packed lunch currently, they can have a carton of squash in there um, or juice that you can access. But please don't forget that from the 8th of October, we are having a trial day for hot dinners for the Apple Room. Um, and obviously if this goes down well, we will be promoting this for our families to use. Um, and the more children that have it, the more successful it will be. Um, even staff are going to be joining in on having the meals with the children to help promote healthy eating. Any children that have an accident, parents will be called if they have had a head injury. Otherwise, you will be asked on the door to fill in the slip. Staff member who will either be myself or Rachel will ask you to sign your accident form on the door. We will be wearing gloves and the pen will be sanitised after each use to protect yourself. We do still have a blanket ban on cowpaw, so no children should be given cowpaw or norofen or any medicine before coming to preschool. If they are having to have a cowpaw in that, they should, they're not well enough to be at preschool. It is not fair on the staff members to be looking after these children that are poorly when we're trying to settle another children in and helping the children to learn and play. We will be continuing to run the staggered starts and drop-offs um, and collections until further notice. We were hoping that this may be able to change from October half term, but with things how they are in the current climate, we will be continuing to do the drop-offs. Your slot is a five minute slot. Please do not be later than the five minutes. As previously mentioned in our email last week, the Apple Room children will be starting getting dropped off from eight o'clock in 10 minute slots all the way up to 8.50, which is our last drop off. If you are dropping off for the Pippin's room, which is nine o'clock, please wait outside the gates. Do not queue up with any of the other parents, as this it means that your people are crossing paths and not really able to social distance. The Pippin's room drop off is nine o'clock to not five past nine, so please make sure you're prompt. And then the Apple room for the other children that are doing a school day will be 9.10 or 9.20. So any of the people, um, Apple Green children, please do not queue up with the nine o'clock children. As I said earlier, it, you cross paths um, with social distancing. So please adhere to this. All children can now come. If your child is off poorly for any reason, please make sure you email us, call us or text us to let us know. If they are showing symptoms at home and you're getting a test, please let us know as well. Obviously, once you've had your results, we will not ask you to see the results, but we will ask you to be honest and open with us to let us know if they're negative or positive. If they are positive, there is a lot of work that we need to do to make sure you let us know as soon as possible once you have your results. Children can still only attend one setting, either nursery or preschool. They should not be attending more than two settings. The only people that are exempt from this is if a child attends a childminder and then it comes to our preschool or they attend an SEN setting. This is the same for holiday club. Your child should only be attending us and no one else in this period to protect themselves. We have limited numbers on breakfast and school club and holiday club to 15 children as per the government guidelines. Staff members will now be wearing face masks in communal areas. This includes in our reception area, cloak rooms, the corridors and our staff room. And um, this is now part of the government guidelines and it is at the discretion of the preschool, but we're trying to protect ourselves as well as our families and the children. So these will be worn um, then. Staff members, if they want to, will be wearing face visors within the room. This means they can protect themselves when they're mixing with the children, um, but the children can still see our faces and are able to lip read to support their speech and language. We will also be starting to do more sensory play within the setting. Uh, we will be using sand and this will be um, cleaned with disinfectant with Milton each day um, and raked through. We will be playing water play, um, which will be soapy, and children will have the chance to make Play-Doh, but this will be an individual batch. It will be bagged up for children ready to use um, and play with each day. 
circle times we'll be resuming, so we'll still be doing circle times. Um, and all activities are in the moment planning will now be put in place from this week. Our base signs are now being completed for all of our children that have returned. So these will be um, updated um, on your tablets in due course. And all our current children will have their base signs done from the 19th of October. At the moment, we are gathering as much information on getting to know your children um, and updating their records in due course. Back on to drop-offs and collections. Can I please remind everybody that we are asking for one parent only to drop off and collect from the preschool. We have had a number of people bring in different members of their families and friends to join them in the queue. It is very important just to have one member of the family to collect and drop off that child. As I've said previously, parents need to be wearing face masks when dropping off and collecting. It could be a covering of some sort, but when they're at the door with a member of staff. Please adhere to the social distancing of two metres. We have had it marked out on the flooring now, little steps for the children to follow. Um, and parents should be following the one way system. All children must be washing their hands before entering the setting. Um, and due to winter and autumn coming, our hand washing station will probably be taken down soon. We will be having a hand sanitising station outside the doors for the children to use. Um, and if you prefer your children not to use that, then they will be washing their hands in the toilets in the um, reception area before entering the room. Hand washing, it will be increased um, throughout the setting. We'll be doing it all the time but when we're coming in, doors outside after snacks, going to the toilet, um, blowing our nose. Um, it will be increased within the setting and we hope that you're teaching your children at home by singing happy birthday or counting to 20, making sure they're covering the tops of their hands, thumbs, in between the fingers, everywhere. This will help us in the due course to get these children more health, um, more health aware and making sure they're washing their hands correctly.